Welcome everybody to another fantastic live show. My name is Alexi himself. I'm a Finnish guy from Finland and on this channel I create fantastic videos about Finnish culture, lifestyle and language and my goal is to help all of you guys to get to get uh, to understand Finnish people, the Finnishness better. It doesn't matter why what, what your interest is and why you got interested in Finland in the first place, whether it's Finnish guys, Finnish ladies, the Finnish language, maybe you're moving to Finland, that's what this channel is all about. And then in this live stream, I will help you with your questions regarding to Finland. So there is a link in the uh, a link to the form, link to a form where you can send in your questions and I will go through those in this stream. And hopefully uh, I'm looking forward to have fun and hang out with you guys. We have some people also in the in the chat. Let's bring up some people. We have Elton also here. Elton is one of our members as well. We have Etumon, Mo 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 Moikka. We have Fabriano, Silva from Brazil. Welcome. We have Buikoi New Nguyen. <laughs> Sorry, my Vietnamese is bad. Sorry about that. Uh, let me know in the comments from where you're joining and watching this live stream. Would, would love to know where you guys are joining in. We have Emlyn, we have Anton here as well. We have Alexandra, uh, we have Maria from uh, Serbia, we have Noah. Hold on, I'm clicking here. A coffee paper, all fantastic joining all over the world. Let me know in, in the where you're chatting. Emma is joining from the UK, good stuff. Uh, Tatiana is from Ukraine, awesome. Emeline from Nor North Germany, say good, will come on uh, the live stream. On, uh, <laughs> okay, I, I was about to continue speaking, speaking in, in German. You know, uh, too many languages going on. And we have already a super sticker, Jasmine Wood, three, uh, $3. Really appreciate you with, uh, hold on, let me just open it. Uh, we have this coffee super sticker that's definitely a Finland related super sticker. Really appreciate it. And we have a new, new member also, Jesse Montero. Welcome to the fantastic members. So if you want to support the channel and uh, becoming a member, you get access to these cool emojis. Click the blue, bo blue join button. Uh, awesome. We have 30 people joining in. That's amazing. And the weather here in Finland has been super great. We had or or first ice creams of the season today i had this awesome uh, ice cream and noah the dog was also there and and next week the forecast said it's going to be 25 plus degrees celsius that's going to be pretty fantastic that's like the real summer weather in finland looking forward to that great awesome to have so many fantastic joining and let's jump to the questions uh, so as you can see there's this slider popping up in the screen. So if you want to submit your questions, use the form in the description. And I will go through this one by one. And Jesse says, hi, Alexi. So happy to watch your live stream. Thank you, Jesse. I'm happy to have you here as well. Cool. Let me just try to go to the questions. And we have a few, few questions from, the last, from last time as well. And the first question was, let us let me just see. Uh, what, yeah, the first question we have today is from Ale. Uh, she's from Peru and she's moving to Finland within three years. Awesome. And she's interested in studying in Finland. And language and culture was something that brought her to Finland or like or what made her fin uh, interested in Finland. And the question is, hey, Alexi, which is the best university in Finland? Well, that's a great question. And uh, well, first of all, I want to just quickly mention that the university rankings aren't really super important in Finland. I mean, I think maybe all the university and University of Helsinki Tampere University, those were maybe the top universities, but in then it doesn't really matter uh, from which university you get your degree in or from, because the employers, like if you're planning to work in Finland, the employers are are more interested in your skills and your background. And the degree is like, okay, 
they just look at okay you have a university degree in this and this field and they don't really for example look it look much into your grades or which school or which university have you studied in but um also or the original question was which which is the best university but well, i think they're all good I, I can't really say that this would be a shitty university in finland so it's a little bit boring answer but i hope this address brings some insight uh, to this topic obviously there are these official rankings out there but i don't really know what's the latest probably all the universities one of the tops in university helsing most likely Hey, we have Brent with the five bucks super chat. Hi, my friend. Hi, Brent. Thanks for again with the five bucks. Really appreciate your generous super chats. Uh, uh, also now and from, from the past super chats you've given. Great. Uh, so let, so yeah, that's, that's what I would say. So if you come to study in Finland, you're really wondering like, okay, should I apply to this and this and this? But obviously... There are individual differences in the universities, for example, how they do research, how what kind of teachers they might have. But in the end, from your perspective, if you're transition, playing the transition from uh, studying to uh, work in Finland, you know, the skill, real skills are more important, if you ask me. Blitzkrieg also, what's up, man? And thanks for the five bucks as well really appreciate please creek has also been one of the generous super chatters on this show and always happy to see you in the chat and especially if i get the super chat to you so I'm, I'm doing fine trying out this new live stream format someone was asking like am i not doing the walking live streams uh well i am i am planning to do this but i'm just testing out this new format a couple of times and i'm definitely planning to incorporate the walking live streams also in the regular uh, content Great, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you so much for the super chats so far. So let's go to the next question from. Uh, let's see, yeah. So the next question is from Kevin from the U.S. He hasn't decided whether he wants to move to Finland yet, but uh, he's like the reason why he would be coming would be Finnish family members or partner. And his question is, Kitos, uh, has travel been opened uh, from US yet with the vaccine as well? Okay, so this is about Corona. Uh, well, I don't know the details and the situation. The situation keeps changing all the time. Uh, if you have the vaccine, that's obviously a good thing. But I don't know what the travel restrictions are. And that's why I always forward you to to check out the official sources I, I think i can actually share my screen in a little bit and show you one 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 good source where you can check the latest info because you know i'm just a regular finnish dude on the internet don't don't trust everything what i say like 100 so let me just i think i can share my screen quickly uh okay yes great uh, let's scroll Chrome tab, Finnish Institute. So let me just, oh, okay, so there we go. I think I need to put my StreamYard window to this side because I think it's going to be easier for me to operate. Yes, okay. So for example, the Finnish Institute of Health and Welfare, this is definitely one place where you can look for the official information. And if you just type in Finland travel restrictions, Corona, this is where you can find find the info and this is like the official stuff so this is what i would suggest you to do if you look real up-to-date information okay a little bit boring answer but like i said i'm just a regular finnish dude i don't really know much about the current situation aside from, from the what's being published by the official sources okay it's good uh, good question nevertheless let me just remove that one and move to the next one. Quick, quick look at the chat. I need to move my my boom arm a little bit. If there's, if there's any super chats, oh, we had another super uh, super sticker, Chessy. Thank you for the fifty. Uh, which currency is that, by the way? This is it's a little bit small on my on my screen, but this is a new type of currency symbol. 
guys, let me know what 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 currency is this? <laughs> thanks, but, but anyway, thanks for the fifty money. Thanks for the fifty money. Vicky is also here, one of our members. Vicky, welcome to the show. Cool. Let's move to the next question. Uh, next question is from uh, Genesis. Uh, she's from Tampere. Like the question is, what country? And the question answer was Tampere. So yeah, it's great to have Tampere as its own own country. Tampere is a really great city in, in Finland. Uh, she's already living in Finland and. Remigration and Finnish descent is one of the reasons, and so uh, studying is something what she became interested in. Questions: You teach Finnish? Short and sweet. I like that Finnish, very Finnish style. Uh, well, I don't teach officially Finnish. I'm not a teacher. I don't have a teacher qualifications. Although I have made two online courses for beginners, especially for spoken Finnish, and my interest in the languages comes from the fact that I have also studied quite a few foreign languages, including Japanese, German, uh, English, Swedish, and so on. And I have created a few courses, uh, online courses, which you can take in your own pace. Those are meant for beginners. There's a link to those in the description. So if you want to check out what kind of content it is, and if you feel it's worth the money, you can buy it and start learning some useful Finnish. So uh, I have gathered or all the lessons are made in for beginners and it only includes like this useful stuff without getting too much involved in the grammar. Okay, the, uh, the money was a Philippine peso. Okay, great, awesome. We have also Rishi. Rishi is also one of our uh, regulars on the show. Good to have you here. And yeah, awesome. Let's move to the next question from uh, Chandana from India. Uh, she's moving to Finland within three years. Awesome, because of work, nice. And she got interested in Finland because of forest. Okay, nature is one of the big things here. And the question is, okay, I need to wrap up the text because it's going to wide. Hold on, just hold on a second. Okay, I would like to know if I get the Finnish, if I get the Finnish passport, is it possible to inherit property from India, and how much tax I need to pay if I do so? Okay, we're talking about taxes. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, thanks for the question. Um, uh, to be honest, I don't know. This is a very specific tax-related question. Uh, there's probably something, uh, there's like international taxation, probably something with the tax treaties. So unfortunately, I don't know if, I don't know. This is just too, too complicated question for me. But yeah, I, I think that's all, that's all I can say. This is a little bit too specific, a little out of my scope. Sorry to give you, sorry to disappoint you, but uh yeah, but what I would say is like if you have moved to Finland, you will you need to pay taxes to Finland basically. But you need to check if there's a tax treaty between Finland and India. And the tax treaties exist to eliminate this double taxation. So you would have to pay full taxes to Finland as well as India. But that's probably something I would as, uh, assist or advise at this point. Cool. Quick look at the chat. Justina also in the chat. Moi. Moi, tervetuloa, welcome. Uh, Brent has a question. Do your courses get rooted through her Finland? I tried to sign up, but got sent there, got confused. Hmm, I'm not too sure because her Finland, Varpu also has courses. And Varpu uh, roots one of my courses through her course. So I'm not quite sure, but I think I need to check on this so that you are not sent to the wrong place. But there should be a link to my courses in the description. But maybe I need to check this out. Maybe have put wrong, wrong link to the description. But OK, I'll need to check. Thanks for pointing this out. Good stuff. Uh, next, let's take the next question from Kissamies, Catman in Finnish. Uh, he's from Finland. Suomesta, koska olen suomalainen, enkä koskaan osunut muualla kuin Suomessa. 
I, I'm from Finland because I'm a Finn and I have never lived elsewhere than in Finland. Okay. Uh, he already lives in Finland and the que <laughs> why he got interested in Finland is he's saying like, kyllähän nyt oma kotimaa, kyllähän nyt oma kotimaa pitääkin. It's like, you know, you have to be interested in your own home country, you know. And the question is, what do you think about our prime minister, Sanna Marin? Okay, so we're getting into politics. Well, first of all, I want to say that I'm not really politically inclined or involved. Obviously, I follow the news and follow what kind of decisions they are making and so on. But yeah, it's it's a bit complicated. Some people have been criticizing her quite a bit. Some people say it's quite she's been done well. And obviously, she had to lead this country in a pandemic crisis. So first, I had I have to say that it's definitely not an easy task to do to enter a, to become a prime minister at this at these times. And obviously, some people have criticized that okay, her way of uh, leading the country just it wrestles in taking more debt for the Finland and is that a good way to do well I don't know and I, I'm not sure if I have any other better ways to ways to or I oh, oh, overheating my my brain is overheating I need to slow things down so what I'm trying to say is that I'm not sure if I have any better ideas myself to suggest but I I think she's done okay to the very latest to the very least Uh, just a quick look at the comments. Super hot says Moi Koreasta. Moi, welcome. It's cool to have also viewers from Korea. That's that's great. And to another another comment. I'm 14 years old and I have already self-studied Finnish for two months. Wow, that's great. Keep up the good work. Uh, and if you want to your questions answered, just check the form in the description send your question there and i will go th through those in order let's take the next one uh, from nabil he is from the usa he's planning to move to finland within five years okay good stuff to have goals uh wonderful language and culture was is one of the reasons why he's interested in finland music first now language culture and nature awesome and the question is, is a university degree necessary to be successful in Finland? This is a great question. Um, okay, my answer is no. Because there are fields where you, where you, you can become professional without a university degree. Okay, let's take a few examples. For example, coding. Do you, do you need a university degree to become great great coder? No, you just need to practice coding. Or graphic design. Do you need a degree in graphic designer to become one of the top designers? No, you just need to do that shit lots of times and gather experience. Um, is there anything else? Well, there's a lot of these like this creative fields where you can become a pro without having a degree. And I think Oliver from Road to Finish once said that uh, he he once, I, I'm not sure quite, I'm not sure what the exact thought was, but he once said that maybe at some point master's degrees are not even necessary anymore. Because if you can just build the skills that are in demand and that can make you money, then why do why would you need to go to university? That's, that's a very good very good question uh i'm not saying that university is total waste of time i'm really glad i went to university i learned quite a few awesome things i had the chance to go to exchange to japan for example and so on i met i met many of my good friends at the university but well i i think in finland there are some of these fields where like coding graphic design maybe something else uh, like, for example, these IT-related jobs and fields are, I think, all the time in demand. So if you are, for example, a good coder, self-taught coder, and you can demonstrate your skills that you can do this and this and this and this and this, I think you have a good chance to become success successful. I, I mean, it's definitely possible. 
And Alexander says, or you can become an entrepreneur. Exactly. If you just have a skill, if you have the skills to create a product or service that people want to buy, then that's all basically you need to do. And you know how to sell it as well. Selling is another skill that you can just learn by yourself. Yeah, it's, it's a very good question. Let me see if there's anything anything else uh, regarding this topic. Uh, Gustavo says, Hi Alex, your videos are really helpful. I'm moving to Finland on August and would like to know about mobile plans. Are there good mobile plans for Finland? Could you su suggest some? Thanks a lot. Okay, well, this is this is something we can definitely talk about. Well, I can I, I can give a quick, quick few pointers. Uh, well, first of all, I think mobile plans are rather cheap. You can get like unlimited everything, like unlimited minutes, mobile data, te text messages for like 15 euros a month. I think that's quite cheap. Because I actually today recorded videos about phone plans for my online upcoming online course, Moving to Finland 101. And in that course, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know when you, when you move to Finland, like how to get your apartment, how to get all the registrations done, how to find those phone plans, how to find your apartment, how to get the electricity contract to your apartment, how to get your home insurance, how to do grocery shopping in Finland how to save money in Finland, all these kind of things are coming up. So I, I, was, I was just doing this stuff with, uh, today. Uh, there is a website. Okay, let me just show you what I did. Let me just uh, go go this, this website. I have to share my screen again. Just a mo uno momento. Okay, I'm going to put that away. Verta ensin, yes. And can we get this displayed? Okay. I, I hope you can see it. This is a website called vertaensin.fi. I, I, I don't think you can actually see see the URL, but I can I can put, put the, I can put that to the comments. Okay, this is works in uh, in English Finnish only, but bada beam bada boom, we can use Google Translate and it should work like a charm. There we go. And then we just proceed to a few things. This is like a comparison website. Let's do a quick tutorial about this, because why not? This will be useful to you anyways, if you're planning to come to Finland. So here you can compare all the phone plans that the main carriers are offering at this time. There's Delia. Uh, let me just put the full screen. I think it's going to be easier for you to see, because you're, you're always looking at my face anyways. So this is... Uh, this is the website now. So there's Delia, there is DNA, there's uh, Elisa, and I think there's Moi Mobile somewhere. But anyways, you can check out phone plans here. You can put this any this all these kind of filters. You can, for example, put this no commitment. No commitment means that you have to, for example, stay twelve months in the in the program or in the subscription before you can change. No opening fee, EU roaming, and okay. For example, I think this was the uh, phone plan what I was talking about. This is from Telia. Unlimited minutes, unlimited mobile data, 5 euros opening fee one time, 16 euros a month. But it's 12 month fixed term. So you have to stay in the contract 12 months minimum, then you can quit or change. And if we click the show more, we can see the mobile data speed is 20 megabytes per second. Uh, Nordic countries, Baltics, European Union, European Economic Area countries, 17 gigabytes per month range. So if you go to traveling anywhere in the EU, you can use the same phone plan as you go. This is quite cheap. So you can get pretty good deals with around 16 euros or 12 euros or 20 euros, unlimited everything. Okay, so this is the website. You can go do the comparisons yourself and that's how it works. So hopefully this will be useful. Let's just change back to my face cool so i think that hopefully be helpful marco is also joining the show 
good stuff. Marco is a Finnish guy. He's also be, he's quite acting on the stream, so he also gives some good insights about Finnish stuff. So you can listen to him if he says something. I, mean, I think you should listen to him if he says some good good stuff in the comments. Let's go to the next question. Bada bim, bada boom. Let me just quick get the chat. Didn't miss any super chats. All right. Uh, ba, 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 where where are we? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Koi Nugen from Vietnam asks, how old I am? Okay, I'm just gonna go this quickly. I'm 30. 30. Next question is from Eric from South Africa. He's moving to Finland within a year. Awesome for work. Uh, and he's interested in the language specifically. And the question is, we just spoke on IG, Instagram, but maybe your answer will help others too. I've been learning Finnish for three months consistently using Duolingo and other free resources. Free resources. Feeling a bit overwhelmed at the moment, especially with the differences between spoken and written Finnish. How did you learn Japanese back then? You mentioned that you struggle with that to a certain point. Okay, so Finnish language tips. Uh, well, first of all, you have to be consistent because Finnish language is quite different from English, German, Spanish, other these big languages. So getting inside the language might take a little, a little while and you, you just you need to embrace it. So if, if it starts to look very overwhelming and confusing, just say to yourself, okay, this is part of the journey. I still need to push a little bit more. I'm going to make it. And my pro tip, what I'm always saying on the streams for anyone who's planning to become good at Finnish or who wants to learn Finnish well, you need to get a Finnish speaking partner or someone with whom you can speak Finnish on uh, on regular basis. That's what I did with Japanese. So before I went to Japan, uh, like six months before, I got in touch with the Japanese exchange students in my city, Tampere. And I was explaining them, hey, I'm moving to Japan in six months. W would you be open to have this language exchange uh, lunches maybe once a week? And they said, sure. I offered them to uh, give like Finnish uh, language sessions, but they weren't really interested. So that was actually a good opportunity. And that helped me a lot because I had the chance to build the speaking skills because when people are learning finish and they said that they are not practicing the speaking so what are you what kind of language learning you're doing then are you just pr practice or do you want to just become good at writing or reading or listening to finish but you're not doing anything with the speaking because uh in my opinion language learning has like multiple smaller skills listening comprehension speaking skills uh, vocabulary and these kind of things so it, these, these are kind of building blocks that build a foundation to a house. So if you don't really put any effort on the speaking skills, you're kind of lacking one of the main building blocks uh, in terms of the foundation. And that can be a, a challenge. And obviously, it can be kind of awkward at the beginning because you're, you're well, obviously, if we start something, we are shit at the beginning, right? But that's okay. I remember when I took my first Japanese speaking skills or sp speaking sessions, I was crap, but we were speaking like slowly. And eventually, within left after three or four sessions, I noticed that okay, I'm actually getting the hang of this little by little. And anyone who wants to learn Finnish, go and find a Finnish speaking partner. Last time I showed you iTalk, it's this online uh platform where you can find very inexpensive tutors link to that in the description so if you don't have access to finnish speakers in your area go online but if you and do this only if you're serious about getting good at finnish because people might ask like okay I, do i have to spend money on this well you don't there's a lot of free resources out there but if you want to supercharge and get faster results then you need to reach out to a Finnish native people or people who can speak Finnish with you. And italki is a way to achieve that. Okay, that was a lot, a lot of like a rant almost. 
So, but yeah, that's that's what I would say. Uh, when I was speaking Japanese, I was speaking Japanese with Japanese people, and that was one of the click moments when the switch kind of flipped. But good question, anyway. I think this is this is something that people struggle quite a bit. Let's have a quick look at the chat or the comment section. Uh, question is, if anyone wants to get permanent residence in Finland, then is it mandatory to learn Finnish? Uh, no. If you want the Finnish citizenship, then you need to learn Finnish. But for the permanent residency, no, you don't need Finnish skills. As far as I know, you just need to have, you need to spend enough time in Finland for that. Uh, Evie says, Kiitos Alexi, I know speaking is crucial. Yeah. Start speaking from day one. Start speaking from day one. That's what I always tell the people. Cool. Let's move to the next question from uh, Oli Oliver from Ireland. He hasn't decided whether he wants to move to Finland or not, but he's interested in doing that because of remigration or Finnish descent. That's great. And the game, my summer car, <laughs> my summer car made him interested in Finland. Uh, the question is: Is it true that employers in Finland may not accept someone with the Finnish name or surname? If so, why is this? Okay, uh, I have done a video about this. Uh, maybe I think it was last year or 2019 that there was this research, academic academic research, carried out by someone who was uh, trying to find out whether people will get less interview uh, interviews, job interviews, if they had the foreign name. And unfortunately, the results were true that if if the employers uh, or if the, the applicants had a foreign name, they didn't get as many interview uh, interview invitations as the one with the Finnish name. This might sound pretty bizarre, and I, I completely think think so too. But yeah, I, I, Finns are a little bit, like let's say that some Finns are just a little bit xenophobic, I would say. Some people might be even racist. I, I, I think that exists everywhere and also in Finland. I, I, I can say that openly. But yeah. So they have they have been actually trying to find ways to get rid of this this kind of discrimination and uh, it has it happens also to old people old Finnish people like people in their fifties if they lose their job they have really difficult time to find a new job because uh, some employees might think might not want to hire any old people so what they have been trying to do is do this anonymous applications where there's no name no no uh, nationality and no age i think it's a good good idea because then it kind of levels out and evens evens this out uh for everyone i think i can quickly find uh okay well i i, I can think i think i can do it later but unfortunately i don't know some some employers are just dumbasses because if they they decide they decide to overlook someone someone's capabilities because they just happen to be foreign it's it's kind of sad to be honest cool okay let's have a quick chat in the in the uh, quick chat in the com <laughs> quick look at the comment section timo says hello i hope you're doing well thanks timo i'm doing actually quite well hope you're doing fine as well uh Lately, I've been getting into awesome Japanese all-female bands that has made me want to learn Japanese. Cool. That's one. I I got into Japanese because I was watching Dragon Ball Z a lot when I was younger. There's even some Japanese comments here going on. Hey, we have a new chopper chat from Evie. That's for Noah. I saw he didn't get ice cream today. Uh, first of all, thanks for the 50 monies. Uh, this is the South African money. I always forget the currency. But he, he got like a small 
he got a few pieces of the the waffle the you know the cone but yeah we'll take that money for noah and buy something nice for him great uh then we have a question from mostakin shake hope i didn't bungle it or butcher the name completely from bangladesh he's moving to finland within a year good stuff for studying and he likes finland because it's a peaceful country that's i think that's pretty much true and the question is let me just wrap the text again i want to know about bachelor program for humanity background student and is there any university available for those university offer offer under seven thousand euro tuition fees and could you please suggest some program for bachelor okay this is a very specific uh question about studies and if you want to know more about this these kind of things i suggest you go to this youtube channel called road to finish uh run by oliver rotko he makes exclusively videos about studying in a working finland and he can answer these kind of questions so let me just share the screen again and so you will know what is this about so i will also put this in the links in the comments so unfortunately i don't know because this is too specific question about studying in finland and i don't have any expertise on that but this dude has so make sure to check out oliver's channel subscribe to him say hello from me if you do and he makes these live streams as well so i strongly recommend that you join one of his live streams submit the question to his live stream and he will answer this for you okay so I'm kind of outsourcing this to Oliver, but he knows this stuff better than I do. So it's better to that you listen to him instead of me. <laughs> yeah. Let's remove that one. And let me just put this there. Let me have a quick look at the comments. Uh, Zahari Rich says, in your opinion, what is the best free way to learn Finnish? I start dueling when talking to talk Finn, but it will get weird at some <laughs> at times. Well, I have made a video about resources in uh, for learning Finnish. There's a free free YouTube video. I have listed like 10 useful, useful things. And if you're talking to a Finn, it's uh, what I would just suggest you to do is to ask someone who would like to practice so if you just go in the streets and try to practice like on the street in the street it might get a bit weird especially if you're just kind of getting started but if you can create this like a practice environment where you can make where it's safe to make mistakes well it's also safe to make, make mistakes in a real conversation nothing wrong with that but I, I think it's just easier a little bit easier for you if you manage to do that Your camera's lagging sometimes. Oh, actually, I'm streaming this with 1080. Because uh, they gave you like the seven day free trial. So I'm actually testing it out and to see whether it works or not. So let me know if there's any other lags and stuff. Then we have a next question from Andre from Russia. And he's planning to move to Finland within five years. That's awesome for working. And he likes the calm and tranquil tempo of life. And I, I think that's quite much true. And the question is, if person has an average salary uh, about 2,800 to 3,200 euro, then how much money is left after all necessary stuff, taxes, electricity, water, house? Uh, I mean, the amount of then spend for whatever food clothes items activities you want this is a great question uh, if you can make around 3k gross so pre-tax that's gonna be you will survive definitely but what is important to consider that your costs 
one of the big biggest cost factor will be your rent and if you are for example living in the capital areas somewhere in Helsinki Vantaa Espoo the rents are uh I would say significantly higher than in other cities like Tampere or Oulu and, and so on. But I think we, even with that money, you can save quite a bit. Um, I would say electricity, water, or like the utilities would be maybe something towards 80 euros if we consider the uh, home insurance, electricity, water, uh, internet and these kind of things but i'm going to show you a quick re uh, gr good resource if you're wondering how much you're going to pay taxes uh in finland when you're working so let me just get that article if i can find it okay just a second guys and girls oh uh, this is the wrong wrong article of uh, Mikäs se nyt oli? Veroprosentti. Okei, okay. veroprosentti. Yes, tax percentage. I'm going to show you this quick article. This is just like a guideline. Don't take this with 100% accuracy. There's a lot of factors that will affect your tax rate. But I have to share my screen once again. Share screen. Chrome tab. Veroprosentti. Where is my, oh, hold on, did I, oh, I didn't add it to stream. Okay, there we go. So this is an article from the Taxpayers Association. And if we scroll down, uh, where is the, there's supposed to be this like a table but it's not getting displayed correctly. I wonder why not. <sighs> okay, let me just refresh. I wish everything always went as planned to avoid this weird situations. Why is it not displaying? There should be like this, like a brown. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is just a very like a how would i say it's like a very general guideline how much you're gonna pay in taxes so this first row kokonaispalkka means your total salary per year gross before taxes palkka means your gross salary vero prosentti means your tax rate and marginali prosentti means like how much your taxes will increase if your salary increases and netto tulo is uh, net salary per year after tax. Okay, so let's see what was the number in the question again. I think it was around 3,000 euros. So if we go to 3,000 euros uh, net salary, can you guys see this by the way? I hope it's big enough. So if we made 3k per month, we would pay around 27.7% tax from that. So how much that would be that's like one quarter around so how much that would be 10 percent this 300 euros a little bit more than 600 euros maybe seven 700 euros you would pay in taxes so you would have net salary of maybe around 20 200 300 euros and from that you would pay your rent your salary uh, your, your utilities and and so on so let's say if you're uh, you would be a single guy living somewhere in capital area you could get a place rented for 800 euros then you would have 1.5k left then you would buy, buy your food your utilities i think for food you could maybe pay like 300 euros utilities utilities maybe eight, 80 euros you would still have around one more than 1000 euro left so i think definitely you will survive survive but this is just like a very very quick guideline uh numbers out of my head 
type of calculation. But yeah, if you can make 3K gross, I think you're definitely good. And you can save money with good choices as well. If you ask me, this, extra, this was actually interesting, interesting uh, question to cover. Evie says, can you, can you post that link? Uh, okay, so this the taxpayer stuff, yeah, I can, I can do that. Great, this was interesting stuff. Hopefully it was helpful. And yeah, just for example, one thing that can either increase uh, or what, uh, uh, I need to try to speak slower because my brain is like three steps ahead of my mouth and then it's kind of blows up entirely. So what something what is for example, not considered in, the, or in those percentages are your tax deductions. So every taxpayer can also get deductions, which will lower your taxes. And we didn't obviously factor those in there. But let's go to the next question. Let me just scroll down a little bit. Next question is from Harsh from India. He's moving to Finland within a year for studies. That's pretty good stuff. An education system and affordable fees. Got him interested. Hi, what is your opinion on Hamak University as one to do computer applications from it? Uh, thanks for the question. Unfortunately, I have to say I don't know because I have never studied there. So I think it's better to find someone who has studied there or uh, ask this question from Oliver because he probably has insights for that. Yeah, even even like I'm appreciate that you guys entrust me with all these kind of questions. But even sometimes I have to raise my hands up and say I don't know. Uh, quick question, quick, quick look at the chat. Oops, uh, Justin says, Alex, do many Finnish women have bad attitudes or just my girlfriend? <laughs> okay, interesting question. And not everyone has. Like my girlfriend had, doesn't have a bad attitude and some girls just might have. So, so yeah, not, not all Finnish ladies have bad attitudes. Uh, so Rashek says, what kind of good choices? So this was related to money question. So for example, uh, instead of living in the central of Helsinki, where the rents are even more expensive, you can, for example, get the flat from Espo somewhere along the metro line. So let's say if you, if we would get like a, let's say 30 square meter flat for a single person, I think that would cost some somewhere close to 1000 euro in the Helsinki city center. But if you go somewhere to Espo, you can get one maybe with 900 or 800 euros a month. So instead of getting, uh, so the point is that if you choose your location where you can get the good flat with good public transportation ac access, then that's 200 euros per month save. And that's pure save because there's no, no one taking, taking taxes between. So let's say if you earn 200 euros more, then the tax, tax admins will, tax, administ tax administration guys will be taking the money from between. But if you can find a way to save 200 euros, that's 100% profit for you. Uh, yeah, a, that was a good point. Or for example, cooking, making your own food instead of eating out. Eating out is a big money hole. Marco mentions if you have a driver's license and car, you have to pay insurance plus other related fees. I think it's pretty expensive to have a car. Yeah, I agree. So my advice is to avoid getting a car as long as possible because the car is actually kind of expensive to be honest. Uh, cool. Let's go to the next form question. 
from Alexei from Belarus. Okay, I think we haven't had a question from Belarus yet. Uh, Alexei is moving to Finland within a year. Awesome for work. And he got interested in Finland because of the culture. The question is, what is the best in terms of usefulness and number of... Uh, hold on, what is the best in terms of usefulness and number of remote services in Finland? Uh, I didn't understand the question. What is the best in terms of usefulness and number of remote services in Finland? Sorry, I, I think it's it's my Sunday mood. I think I just didn't understand the question. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Is the question about remote services? But yeah, maybe there was some word or something missing. I'm sorry, but I just have to skip this one because I didn't understand the question. Let's go to the next one from Koi Nguyen. Nguyen. I, I still don't know. Understand. I don't know how to pronounce the Vietnamese names. Uh, he hasn't decided whether he wants to move to Finland yet, but studying is in studying is something he's interest into it and and the happiest country in the world title. And the question is, onko tyttö Suomesta kaunis? <laughs> so is a girl from Finland beautiful? I think so. I think Finnish ladies are pretty, pretty sexy and no problem with that. Uh, bank that offers a lot of remote services via apps or etc. Uh, so it was the question about banks. Is is that the, is that what we are talking about? So the best bank is that the question? Oh, I, I can get, I can get into this if we just put confirmation that we are talking about banks. A bank that offers. Okay, it, it seems the question was about banks. Okay, so best banks. Uh, just a quick point. I think all the banks in Finland are pretty good. There's there's a, quite a lot of those banks, which means there's a lot of competi competi competition, competition, and that means in in turn that they are trying to push down the fees and improve their services. And I think all the banks offer uh, online banking. I, I and I think it's pretty standard. I have never. I haven't visited the bank physically for like 10 years because I can do all my banking stuff with their mobile app or with their website version. And I think all the big players, the big banks in Finland do offer online banking and well, as well as a pretty well working mobile app. So I, I can't really say uh, I'm I'm a member of I'm a I'm a customer of Ope Bank or Suusbank and as well as Asbank. And I think both of them work quite well, quite nicely. Hey, we had a super chat here. Nick Corey with 10 queen quids. Uh, hey, Alexi, has there been a negative reaction in Finland to English people since Brexit uh, in a way that would affect anyone coming over to look for work? Thanks for all the work you're doing, mate. Nick, thanks for the 10 queen quids. And the question, um, if we're talking about the mindsets of Finns, has their attitude changed towards people from UK? No, I don't think so. But the problem that might be just the bureaucratical things because U, uh, UK isn't isn't uh, is not a, con a EU country anymore. So that means that you have, for example, have to find a resi get a residence permit uh, based on work. So before anyone, uh, if so, before you didn't need to get the residence permit because UK was part of you. EU, EU. Wow, why is it so diff difficult to pronounce that? So uh, there's gonna be more like hurdles and hoops you have to jump through in terms of bureaucracy. So that's definitely one of the challenges that is caused by Brexit. So if you're coming to look, coming over to look for work, you can stay only like 90 days with tourist visa because you you're coming outside of the European Union. That's what I would say. Hopefully that helps to to at least. Marco adds to the bank discussion, I can do all my bank business with my phone, paying bills, etc. That's what I do. And online banking works super well in Finland. That's one of the things that works very, really nicely. 
Thanks for the answer. That was on point. Sorry for my bad wording. Okay, I, so I think the word bank just slipped from the form. So no problemo in that sense. Uh, Mustakin Sheik asks, is photography popular in Finland? I would say so. There are there are people who photography for like professionally, like entrepreneurs, but I don't really know specifically the specifics, but I, that's what I would say. Uh, I first read like, is pornography popular in Finland? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the Finnish porn industry isn't really making that much bank, at least if you ask me. Alexi, Alexi fan, is Alexi ignoring me? Well, I'm trying not to, but there's so many comments coming in from the forum and to the chat. So, and I'm just a regular Finnish dude trying to juggle all these things during the live stream. So, please try to bear with me because I'm trying to answer as many questions and comments as I can. Let's move to the next question from Harris from Vienna, Austria. Cool, I've been to Austria and been. Uh, he's moving to Finland within three years. That's awesome. Uh, because of a Finnish family member or partner and girlfriend was his reason to become interested in Finland. Those sexy Finnish ladies, you know, we all love them. Question is, what? Which is the? Which are the best stock trading platforms in Finland, and which one do you use? Okay, great. More money related stuff. Um, well, in Finland, the most common way to get started with stocks or index funds is through your own bank. So the banks also offer quite competitive and pretty decent options to start investing. And I have, for example, one of my stock stock portfolios is from OP Bank because I'm a customer of OP. So I started my stock portfolio there and they also offer this kind of bonuses because I'm concentrating a lot of my stuff in their in their service. But there's another one. If you don't want to get involved with the banks, it's called Nordnet. I think I can quickly open it. And I think it also works in English. My, I'm sharing the screen. I don't, I don't think I am, but just let me check. I will share my screen in in a little bit. Ba -ba 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 Can I? I. Uh, what is wrong at the stream? Ah, uh, this is the wrong wrong slide. What I'm sharing. Oops. Okay, I need to do do this again. Share a screen. Chrome tab. Nordnet. Okay, so this is this is a service specifically aimed for. Uh, stocks uh, and specifically for investing i can i couldn't find an english english site ah uh, ah uh, there is actually hold on ah uh, no swedish and swedish only over oh, okay well but this is quite popular in finland i think it's quite useful but i've heard that their fees is kind of high or their fees are high i am not the customer of them so and because my bank OP offers quite good prices, uh, quite competitive prices for the fees and stuff, so I use that. Then there's another service what I'm using called Degiro. I think I can quickly also show that to you. Can I just share the screen? Uh, okay, I have to stop. Ah, okay. Yeah, now I now I got it. So Degiro, this is uh, not a Finnish service. This is based in the Netherlands, I think. But this is available in, in English. And the reason why I'm using this is that they have very low fees for foreign stocks, like US stocks. So I have one portfolio in Degiro and one portfolio in or portfolio in OP. Okay. So you can check this out and go from there. So hope that helps. Quick look at the comments. Uh, people are talking about life expectancy. 
My Finnish girlfriend has so much sisu that she uses to break up with me every other week. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's time to time to find a new girlfriend if it look gets too bad. But don't take my advice. Just talk, try to sort things out first. Joe is also here. One of our members and he's also a long time follower of this channel. Welcome Joe. Uh, how's old looking? Uh, let's just have a quick look at the comments. Uh, Harris says, thank you so much for the answer, Alexi. Keep up the good work. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you as well. What is the time, by the way? Oh, we've been only streaming for one hour. Life fl Time flies when you're having fun. Good stuff, guys. Let's go back to the questions. Uh, hold on, let me just wrap up the text again. Where's the text wrapping? There we go. Next question is from Ayman from Algeria. He's moving to Finland within a year. Awesome for studies. And he got into in Finland because Finns seem nice. The education is great. The nature is wonderful. And I like cold weather. Lol. And Finland is introvert streamland. I think this. I agree <laughs> with all of these statements. Uh, the question is, how long does it take to learn Finnish daily life conversations if I live in Finland, if you know some non-natives learning it? Okay, this is a great, great question, and I don't think I can give any silver bullet answer. But, I mean, if you really put your effort and you really want to get this stuff done, you can get pretty good level within a year. Especially if you use all the opportunities to speak Finnish and you're going to catch up. It's going to catch on to you quite quickly because when I moved to Japan, uh, I noticed within six months, I I just suddenly started to understand what, it, what the science said, what people told me. I was able to speak, have conversations myself. But if, if you put really effort and you, you want to be cons consistent, you're learning, let's say maybe 30 minutes a day at least, or like 15 minutes a day, you can get pretty well. And if you practice the speaking part, because if you have practiced the speaking part, the conversation, that's going to give like a turbo boost. Yeah, so that's, that's what I would say. Let's check what's on the comments going on. Katia says, Okay, I remember one of your videos. You said that Finns like to get intimate from early on. How is that possible if they are so shy? Love your videos. <laughs> yeah, this is a funny, funny thing, but it's it's just an interesting contrast. You know that at on the on dates you're like super shy like this, but when you get in the bedroom, you will unleash the beast. <laughs> yeah, and like shy on the dates, but beasts in the bedroom. WTF? Welcome to Finland. That's how it goes. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's a re the reason is that we are quite content of being naked because we have sauna culture and everything. But then we just lack kind of the social, uh, the social skills. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. But that's that's what I, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Because I, this is not the first time I've I've heard this uh, this <laughs> this statement. Marco says, Finns are not shy. We are quiet and speak only things we mean. Small talk is just meaningless nonsense. When you break the ice, things start to develop. That's actually true as well. So, uh, and the problem with, well, I would say the problem with the challenge with Finns is that we don't open the conversations. We are really bad at that. But if someone comes to talk to us and say, hey, how's it going? And then we might get in just like, hey, why is this person talking to me? Is he, is he does he want to get to know me and when when Finns get this feeling okay I'm getting understood I'm uh, this person is listening to me listening to me so uh, that's good to keep in mind random castle says hyvä kamaa kiitos vaan näin 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 näillä jatketaan Andy says Hi, Alexi. I love your Finnish culture videos. Do you think Estonia could be a Nordic country like Finland? Do you think do you think that them or one of the Baltic countries should be known as Nordic? Uh, that's a good question. I think, 
Yeah, I actually never even thought about that. Like why there are no more Nordic countries? Is it just because they are located north? Well, I guess that's where the word Nordic comes from. But I mean, I think there's already some cooperation with Estonia because there's a lot of people from Estonia traveling to work to Finland and all the other way around. Lots of Finns are traveling to Estonia for tourism and stuff. Uh, I don't know. It's an interesting question. But I'm not sure if that's up for me to decide whether it's a good thing or not. But yeah, what do you guys think? Okay, Katya says, ah, alcohol helps as well, I think. Thanks for the answer. Yeah. And it's actually quite funny because I get a lot of these questions from ladies around the world saying, say like, Alex, like, I have a crush on this Finnish guy, but he's so shy and I don't know if he likes me or not, then blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it's actually quite common. And But yeah, Finnish guys sometimes a little bit difficult to, uh, to interpret. Great. Uh, next question is from Jacob from Latvia. He hasn't decided whether whether he wants to move to Finland or not, but he's interested in working and music is interested in him. How expensive is Latvia compared to Finland? Uh, well, I think I'm quite sure if I say that it will be more expensive, but I don't know because I have never lived in Latvia. I don't know what the rent level level of the rents are and level of the groceries, these kind of things. But I, I think Latvia is definitely more... Le Finland is more expensive than Latvia, but how much? Unfortunately, I don't know. Just looking, looking the comment department quickly. All right, so let's move to the next question. We have a few more here. Uh, next one is. Uh, hold on, let me just wrap up the text again so it's easy for me to read. Uh, another question from, I think we had a question from Eric from South Africa, but he's already here, he's again here. So Eric from South Africa, he's moving to Finland within a year for working. And Noah made him interested uh, in Finland, Noah's or dog. What, the question is, what's the deal with pedestrian crossings i saw in some your live streams that cars do not stop for people trying to cross i would hate to get hit by a car on my first day in suomi good question i think the cars definitely do stop for crossings but maybe we just had bad luck and there was some douchebag driver behind the wheel but i think finland is really safe also on the road so as long as you just keep your you're aware of your surroundings and you don't cross the street uh, on the red lights, you should be good. Uh, you should be fine. By the way, just remind, remind you, if you want to get some fantastic merch, like t-shirts and mugs, there's a link in the description. If you want to support the channel and get uh, and uh, express your fantasticness in the future, link to description as well. Make sure to check those. Uh, Rents are about 300 best, most expensive, maybe 500. Wow. <laughs> so it's like twice as cheap than in Finland. Cool. Okay, let's take that. We have one more question on the form from... Uh, Sabur from Pakistan. He's moving to Finland within a year for studies. And uh, all the university ranking was his interest. The question is, if a, if a student hold one, 100 tuition fee waiver from the university, can earnings from doing odd jobs are sufficient to cover living expenses? Uh, okay, so if, if the question is like, if you get the 100% tuition fee waiver, like a stip, like the stipend or grant, I guess, can earning from old jobs so cover living expenses um i well it depends again where you live but i don't think so you still need some other funds well maybe i don't know it depends what kind of job it is but 
if you if were talking about, talking about odd jobs, which doesn't sound that profitable, to be honest. Um, so I would say no, but I don't know. It depends. It's this a little bit boring answer again. Okay, my my microphone is not holding enough. Great. Let's have a quick at the chat department. How many people? We have 72. Fantastic. So welcome. If you just tuned in, we've been answering and having a discussion, having a discussion. <laughs> again, I need to slow things down again. So we've been having discussions about uh, different things about Finland, Finnish culture. So if you just tune in, we still have time to get your question answered. Question answered. Send your question in the form in the description. Uh, Guillermo says, hello, Alex. It's just saying that thanks for the great wits. Thank you, Guillermo. Really appreciate the really appreciate really, really appreciate the feedback. My English doesn't work at all today. Marcos says in Finland, odd jobs are probably very hard to get. Yeah, I, I don't even know what actually odd job is. It sounds like something like uh, uh, something where you don't pay the taxes. Kind of this illegal thing. Uh, is, is, is it only one question per person? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, usually what I just try to limit that there's not like five questions coming from the same person, but uh, feel free to send another question, no problem. I'm just trying to like make it sure that everyone gets their question answered, that there's like not 10, 10, 10 questions coming from the same person. Uh, are there any free Suomese Suom <laughs> online course available for foreigners? I'm not sure if there's any courses that are free, but there are free resources like mobile apps and these kind of things. I have made a video about those link into the well, there's no link in the description, but if you just type on YouTube, Alex himself, Finnish resources, I think you should find the video. Hello, Harry. Thanks for the chat yesterday. It was nice to uh, have a video call with you. Oh, Oliver has a video on that topic and conclusion in doing the part time for paying tuition, supporting life is impossible or very difficult. That's exactly what I thought because I think I was watching his stream when he was talking about this. So that's why I was a little bit hesitant of saying yes. Yeah, good point from uh, Harry. Justin says, my girlfriend is very fluent in English, but in the morning when she's still tired, her English doesn't work as well. And when she's still half asleep, she accidentally speaks Finnish to me. Yeah. Okay. So that's probably the, probably the thing. And because English isn't my first language, you know, then I might just kind of overheat <laughs> or melt down. <laughs> melt down sometimes. Uh, and yeah, so so what, one one really cool thing what I want to tell you about. So today I had my first ice cream of the season. So one of the signs of of this of summer in Finland is that you will see these ice cream stalls opening in different parts of the cities. And Finns love ice cream. I mean, well, who doesn't? But Finland is actually one of the top countries of ice cream consumption per capita. And and yeah, so today we had our, our first ice cream stall. There's actually one just across the street from our place. And we had this like huge, huge ice creams. Uh, what what was the flavor I had? It was orange brittle, this pecani. Uh, maybe this, I, I didn't even know what it's in, in English, but I just put it on, put it on the dictionary and brittle, brittle. I think I can write in the chat because brittle. I don't know if you have heard of this, but that was the flavor translated to super awesome. Paul says, Morjesta, Alexi, mitä ei? No mitäs täällä? Streamataan sunnuntai-iltana ja pedetään hauskaa. Hyvin menee, mitäpä siellä? Also some Finnish people 
dropping in. Uh, Justina says, genuine question, do you have salmiakki ice cream? Yes, that's one of my favorites. And, and salmiakki ice cream is one of the best. Uh, not kidding, not kidding. Marco says, I've had ice cream through the year in winter. Of course, I bought from normal. Yeah, actually, this is a good, good clarification. Obviously, we Finns eat ice cream throughout the year, but it's a little bit specific. It's more special when you buy the ice cream from this ice cream store because you know they're closed in the winter and they open during the summer or like in the spring. So that's the point. Uh, Valerius asks, do you know how difficult it might be to get into Helsinki University humanistinen ala? Uh, are we talking about the Finnish programs or the English programs? Because they are completely different in terms of the application process. But unfortunately, I don't have any personal experience in that field. So I don't know, unfortunately. Joe confirms, Salmiak guys seems actually pretty good. Awesome. That's great that there's people who also like Salmiak. Guys, let me know in the chat, do you like ice cream? Uh, not to do you like Salmiak or not? Write yes if you like Salmiak and write no if you don't. Write that in the chat. Would love to hear. Yeah, ice cream boots are the well, ice cream stalls, boots. Yeah. Is it obligatory to the quarantine in Helsinki once arriving? Um, to be honest, I don't know. I think it's better to check the official sources. Joe says yes. Justin says yes. Gnome Power says yes. Alejandra says yes. As a shot, yes. Andre says yes. Turkin Pippur is amazing. Yeah, that's actually a... <laughs> Salmiakki Nami Nami. Hel Helena also commenting. So it seems we have quite a few. A desk doesn't like it. Well, there's no problem if you don't like it. It's not for everyone. You either love it or you hate it. Harris is not, haven't had chance to try it yet. But look forward to it. Yeah, I mean, you can buy it from the airport when you la la land if you want. Haven't tried it yet. Hopefully I will in July. But other Salmi stuff, I can survive. Okay. Suomalaisena totta kai salmiakki on hyvänä, kyllä vaan, kyllähän se, kyllähän se suomalaisille aina maistuu. We have salmiakki booze also. Yeah. Actually one thing what I thought is that for, the, for this live stream I could go for example to the store and uh, try like Finnish chocolate bars or Finnish, Finnish beers or whatever. What, what do you think about the, that kind of concept, like bringing something more Finnishness to the streams? Let me know in the chat. How, how does that sound to you? You don't like Salmiakki Sinner. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's, not, it's not for everyone. I think there's some Finns also though, who don't like Salmiakki. Tapio says, yes, but not tried ice cream yet. Okay, cool. Bobby says, gonna move to Finland with my girl, Finnish girlfriend 30th of May this month. Hyped. Good stuff, Bobby. Hopefully things will go well. Uh, there's a few new questions on the forum. Let's have a look at there. Let me just... Uh, ah, shit. Alexi fucks it up. <laughs> fucks it up again. Uh, so Christian Tunis from States hasn't decided whether he wants to move to Finland or not, but he wants to reconnect with family, start over. Uh, so, so, so no contact in over 10 years. He has family in Suomi. That's interesting. Uh, though I work in wa water or slash mold rem remediation, I have significant medical issues. Fibromyalgia and chronic migraine disorder. Would I even be able to move? Unfortunately, I don't know about these, uh, these diseases. Maybe if I just put them in the translator and figure out what what they actually are. Maybe I can quickly just check if I can find up because I'm these are some medical terms that are a little bit too specific for me. But let me just check 
fibromyalgia was the first one. Fibro. I'm not sure if this is just a wasted effort, but let's just see. Let's just see. Ah, okay. I, I think, unfortunately, I don't know. I guess I could just Google it, Google the disorders, but. Uh, okay, I, I found something, but unfortunately, I don't know. This is a little bit too specific for me to answer uh, because I don't know what the disorders are. Vähän, vähän, vähän kuin reumatismi, mutta paljon lievempi. Okei. Okay. Yeah, but unfortunately, I think I'm, I, I don't dare to answer that because I'm not this, I don't have the knowledge on, on, on these. All right. Yeah, let's, let's move on. Next question we have from Maria from Venezuela. She's moving to move to Finland within five years. Awesome. Uh, because a Finnish family member or partner and the culture and the food made her interested in Finland. Cool. That's interesting. Question is, do you consider that Finnish people find it difficult to be in a relationship from a person with totally different culture like Latin America or other cultures? interesting question we're getting into dating again one of the hot topics of this channel let's do it <laughs> um well i think there's both the pros and cons i think some things might find it really interesting like, and i'm not sure if, if exotic is uh, i want to use the term exotic in a positive way in this one because it's so much different for example what i've heard that latin america people are kind of fierce and passionate and very outgoing and the Finns on the other hand are a little bit more calm and maybe not so passionate and so on and but you know opposites attract you know that's the law of the nature but I know I know quite a few people like uh couples like Finnish Mexican or Finnish Ecuador and so it means that it's it's possible I think it comes down to the individual compatibility but no problem it might be difficult because you might have to adjust to the, each other's culture but that's just up to you you can it's a battle that you can win Marco says I would love to have a Japanese girlfriend well being there done that <laughs> so my my ex-girlfriend was Japanese and that was actually something I I faced there was some things where where I, I made a few fuck ups because I wasn't paying attention to her culture. But mo those were just like a small minor mess ups I made. But most mostly it went well. Uh, Moonfly says, "Hello, I'm a big fan of your channel. I have a question. Can you talk about internet censorship, pirating, torrenting? Is it allowed? Well, not. It's not allowed because it's uh, you're it's uh, breaking. You're breaking the law." Of, breaking the uh, copyright law basically so but I think st still I still think that people do it but obviously you don't want to do it or at least get caught doing <laughs> Justina says exactly if you wipe you wipe and differences are interesting yeah I mean why not the distance may be the issue yeah but if you are already living in one one place might be might might work out uh question next question is from let's wrap the text again okay rishi from india he's moving to finland within a year for studies and many things mostly most notably strong women social status finnish language and reason that finland is my favorite country awesome moi alexi and this emoji i'm very excited to begin my studies in all of this year cool however as the joining date is coming closer i'm getting more anxious about the weather i know the weather there reached as low as minus 30 degrees celsius so as i'm familiar with something as low as 
plus five degrees Celsius, it seems a big deal for me. So my question is, is the weather really much harsh? If so, how to get through with it? Is surviving hard hard in there in Oulu? Kiitos. Cool. Well, Joe is from Oulu. If you Joe, if you're still online, you can share some insights if you want. But well, Oulu is located much north, much more in the north compared to Helsinki. And minus 30 is kind of extreme. Not sure if it's going to get that cold, but maybe minus 20 is completely doable. But the thing, the, the question is, uh, or, or, or the thing is that you can definitely survive it if you decide that you will survive it. And I have made a video about this, like how to survive the Finnish winter. Again, go to YouTube, Alex himself winter, you should find it. And the weather can be harsh, but for example, what, what I learned in the army is that there is no cold weather. There is just bad, bad clothing, which means that if you feel cold, it means you haven't, you are not dressed up well enough or dressed well enough. You're not dressed well enough. And I think it's a great, uh, great punchline because it means that you can yourself you have to control what you're going to wear. So if you're prepared well enough, you can put the clothes that will withstand the cold. Okay. So the answer is yes. Uh, or the question was, is surviving really hard? Well, let's say it can be hard, but not impossible. Okay. Joe says minus 30, only one or two days per year. Main thing is that the colder temperature is to wear more clothes. Exactly. Just what we just talked. Pamela also says, dress for it layers after years, you get used to it. Yes, exactly. At the first, it can be quite shock because it's something so much different. But once you just survive one winter, the next one will be much smoother because you've already went through it once. Alexan says, yes, use wool clothes. And Bobby says, you, I think you just need to adapt and dress like fins. Yeah, exactly. Rishi says, thanks for all the suggestions. Thanks for sending the question. Awesome. Uh, 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 I think we can take one more question from, again, Ale from Peru. She's moving to Finland within a year to study. And the question is, Alex, do you have a video about politics in Finland? How is the system of government there? How many parties do you have? Mm, at the moment, I have not, but I have thought about it. And well, politics is not one of the topics I'm really much into. So that's maybe one of the reasons I haven't gone into that. But I uh, I can do that in the future. Why not? Uh, so I think I'm not going to go go into the details because to be honest, I don't know myself all the details, but I can consider doing the video, doing a video about it later. So Ale, thanks for the video suggestion. I will note that down. <laughs> Leo says, if it's cold, just stay at home. Yeah, but maybe at some point you have to leave the house to buy groceries, for example, and stuff. Uh, Bobby says, and Finnish people are badass and kind, lovely people. Yeah, I think they're kind deep down. Uh, yeah, I'd love to indulge and know the Finnish culture. That's why I'm choosing to do masters in Finland. Yeah, I, I think it's a great, that's a great way, great way to do it. Um, the good news about doing a masters here is that you get to spend at least two years in the country. You can see if you like it here or not. Um, but you always have a exit plan, so you can always leave Finland after the degree if if things just don't work well for you. Uh, unlike if you come here to marry a partner, then that's uh, the exit plan for that can be a little bit more tricky. Selina says, "Hey, oops, wrong wrong comment." Moro. Arge Udland Svenskan says, Terve. Terve, terve ja moro, moro. Uh, 
okay there's one more question in the form let me just wrap up the text again andre from russia again moving to planning to move to finland for, for work and it's me again yeah good to have regulars here i hope to find a finnish girlfriend but i'm a bit anxious about open how open and forgiving she would be to my culture differences i'm kind of afraid to fuck up and ruin everything by smallest mistake uh, this is a great question and um i uh, well i think what is great about us people that we all are individuals and that is kind of the awesome thing that we all have there's only one Al alex like him and there's only one andre out there and there's one only joe the programmer out there we all are unique and instead of trying to change yourself uh what i would do is just to kind of own own yourself but at the same time just try to consider how things work in in finland so can i you can i come up with some example so for example in well you know Finns are a little bit shy a little bit reserved at first so and if you're used to be like very very kind of assertive you approach people and kind of get to the point directly so instead of doing that you can still be kind of do that but at the same time just consider like how finnish people do so you kind of modify let's say your approach style or your conversational style uh to the local way because I, I i don't i don't think you should ever change yourself you can always of course improve yourself and so on but and don't be afraid of the mistakes also think it think it more in like a trial and an error because there's always always this uh mistakes you might do as a foreigner but then you can always learn from them and there are some things who like foreigners or uh like the like like something different because for example girls always say that like finnish guys never approach us as long as they're drunk and let's say if you would go to talk to them in the bookstore they might think hey this was a very interesting experience someone came to talk to me sober in a bookstore and that'd be like wow this never happens to me so that's what i would say uh people are talking about winter gear in the chat bitcat calls it border town yeah people are talking about the winter yeah i mean winter also offers opportunities like skiing cross-country skiing ice swimming <laughs> all these cool things that you can't do in the summer great one and a half hours of streaming already how, how awesome how, how many thumbs ups do we have by the way have i checked that it only shows like one one but let me just can you guys let me know in the chat how many thumbs ups we have because some for some reason it's uh, 57 okay guys can we reach to 70 thumbs ups we need 30 more let's oops <laughs> let's smash the thumbs up button I'm also gonna get one thumbs up for myself. <laughs> Why not? 58, 47, 62. So it seems people have different numbers. It's not in sync. Yeah, no problem. Uh Justina says communication is the key. As long as you know each other's intentions, you can work it work it out, even if it's gonna be awkward. Yeah. Embrace the awkwardness. uh christian tunis says what does he say my mom is full suomi by blood born in the us i'm half suomi cool okay that's that's great to go joe says downhill skiing is the best part of winter nice Sixty-six, seventy-six. 76 with the course of well dropped a like for you mate thanks bobby 
really appreciate it. Uh, I, there, there was a comment, but I, I missed, missed it. Yeah, but about about the dating thing, someone has told uh, someone has told that Finland is the easiest country to date because there is no competition, and I do agree to that. I agree to that in, to some extent because the approaching culture is kind of shy, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't go talk to someone you are interested in, as long as you just don't be too pushy and don't get too close like physically close close too early because that's something that can scare things off but i mean i i, I think i mentioned this quite a few times but one one of my buddies from algeria he found his finnish girlfriend in sokos sokos is a finnish department store he just went to talk to her and now they've been together for three years boom so i mean this <laughs> And to be honest, it's it's quite an opportunity, to be honest, because there's a lot of sexy people who can speak English quite well. Uh, you know, they're, most of them are educated. They're, there's a nice level of equality and no competition. So make sure to take action. Make sure to take action. Uh, Bobby says, got to go now. Three weeks till I move in Finland. So excited. I'm glad to go there just when it's summer. Gonna live in Karna. Interesting Karna. That's uh, my girlfriend is around that area. And we visited that like a few times before. Karna is close to Turku. Uh, ice ho people are talking about ice hockey. It's actually quite funny that the, there's a whole different conversation in the comments section going on. Well, no, I'm I'm not saying there's a problem. That's I think that's great that people are having, people are engaging. In the in the this stuff in the this stuff, so why not? So are you telling that give up Latvia and move to Finland? Well, I don't know what exactly was what were the arguments for Latvia. Uh, Joe says, the key to dating is the same as doing most things. Judge the situation and act in the way that seems appropriate. Yeah, and also what I would say, take risks. Because many people miss opportunities because they might see an interesting looking person, but they never go say hi. And that's lost forever. And, you know, what can be the worst thing that happened? Fiends don't really slap or get angry as long as you're just you don't you're just using common sense to put, put it this way uh justin says my girlfriend's dna test came back 98.7 percent finished and it scares her because now she thinks she's inbred <laughs> okay so i took a dna test too and i'm 92 percent italian happy inbreds <laughs> okay i think you, you should be fine Maha says, hi, Alexi. Oops. Moi, Maha. How are you doing? Haha, uh, -ha, Finns don't slap. Okay, you convince me. Yeah, you know, Finns don't really, Finns are not really confrontational, at least if you ask me. Cool. Yeah, but just to conclude, not only in dating, but because there's common stereotype goes that Finns are shy, Finns are reserved, don't go talk to them. But I think that's just bullshit. And instead, go talk to as many Finns as possible. Because that's where the magic happens. Because Finns don't come to talk to you unless you're like super special in some way. But yeah, so in Finland, you need to take action. You need to be the proactive person, in my opinion. Hi, what is the meaning of this channel? <laughs> this is a good question. The, the meaning of this channel is to 
uh, share useful and fun information about Finland, Finnish culture, and Finnish language. To put it simply. Christian says, maybe it's just me, but I prefer to talk to the other person down ra rather than physical confrontation. Yeah, I mean, you won't probably get into trouble in Finland. <laughs> like physical fights are not, not really that common. Bobby says, I love about Finns that they don't talk when necessary, but are actually really social and friendly when you actually talk with them. Yeah, so you just need to break the ice. You need to break the ice, and I've to also told about told told you about this metaphor that Finns are like coconuts, really hard outer shell, but inside this awesome soft milk. So you just need to crack the outer shell, and boom, you have a friend for life. Robert says they don't slap; they let the cold get you. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Joe says, no harm saying hi if they're interested to talk, then have a chat. If they're not open, then you keep walking. Yeah, I mean, if you, at some point, if you get really serious about finding a partner, girlfriend, girl, boyfriend, you will get rejected. I mean, I have got rejected like hundreds of times from girls in my past and that's just how life goes sometimes they just are not interested or they already have a boyfriend or whatever girlfriend so that's part of the part of the game so to say uh, question from Finn Gael can most Finns understand Estonian somewhat a friend in Oli does not understand but a friend in Greater Helsinki um, we can understand written Estonian, like let's say 30% or something, but the spoken part is kind of challenging. We might probably get the idea what the other person is trying to say, but you know, we don't understand 100% all the words and stuff. Great. How many thumbs ups we have? 58? For, for some reason, I don't, I'm not getting the the fully updated thumbs ups but yeah well i think we'll be fine did we read 70 thumbs ups most most Finns don't understand estonian yeah um, that's probably true I, uh, 80 thumbs ups okay can we get to 100 boom 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 before we end the stream we need 18 more. Let's do it. Uh, Arje Utland Svenskan says, Haha, I have been able to understand some Estonian through my very poor Finnish plus my knowledge of Swedish and German. Okay. That's that's how that's how it that's how it goes. Cool, but actually what is really nice as well that the weather forecast told that next week it's going to be 25 degrees plus Celsius in Finland. That's proper summer weather. That's going to be great because it means t-shirts and shorts are out. Today has it has been also been very warm, like 11 degrees Celsius. We went to the dog park to, earlier today. It was really nice. Didn't need the jackets anymore. And summer is definitely one of the best seasons to come to visit Finland because Finns are more out there. They're having drinks and picnics in the parks. They're more open because and more happy because you know it's bright, warm. You don't have to wear the clothes in the winter and so on. So looking looking very good. Do we have any more questions like forms? I think we were already completed form. 25 degrees is 77 F. Yeah. 25 degrees is very hot in fin Finnish terms. Twenty-five, I think I need to set up the air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. That might be the case. 
bit of off topic, but do you think in pictures or in words? Actually, that's a great question. Have I ever thought about that? Probably in pictures. Christian Tunis, thank for the time, Fox Moy. Thanks, Christian. It was nice to have you here. See you next time. Cool. Uh, I need to let me just stop. Stop that. I think. Uh, Diana asks, which bank is better for migrants, Nordea or Ope? I think they're both good. What What is important that they both operate in English? So, so definitely no problemo. Or I don't think, I think both are okay. I don't see any problem with that. Pamela says, I like Nordea, they have good service in English. Okay, awesome. Good to hear that. And OP, OP has their mobile app in English, which works really well. I've tested it out myself. Elton is heading out. Thanks, Elton, for being a member. Thanks for being in the chat. See you next time. Uh, Craig, what's up, man? It was nice to have a chat with you yesterday. Which has more international reach, Nordea or Ope? To be honest, I don't know. I think maybe Nordea. I, I I'm not quite sure, but I would say Nordea maybe has even their uh, web service, the online banking in English, and Ope does not. So I, I have a fee I have this gut feeling that Nordea is maybe slightly more international. Than OP. But I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Sasta Bank has good prices for it for young people below 28. Yeah, actually, many banks offer these young people prices because there's a lot of competition. So they try to at, be attractive to as many people. And uh, yeah, so if you're under like 25 or 28, usually they give you some young people discounts. Oops. Joe says, I'd say Nordea because their entire website is available in English, whereas the main profile page in OP is only Finnish and Swedish. I think OP has also quite a few of their pages in English as well. Uh, at least the last time I checked. But I still feel like Nordea has a few steps ahead in this game. Uh, Nordea works with the Bank of America for wire transfers from the USA. Oh, okay, that's cool. I didn't know that. That's probably helpful. Okay, let's take one more question and then I think we will wrap up this stream. Did we reach 100 thumbs ups already, by the way? Too bad the number is not updating. I think it's just kind of lagging. But if you're not, let's, let's reach that 100. Thumbs up. How is Uvascular for international student? I think it's quite nice. I like Uvascular. I lived there for a year. I studied there for a year. Uh, at least back then, it wasn't really that international, but that was like 10 years ago. Hopefully, things might have changed since then. I think all the banks have English websites. I think Aspunky doesn't have. Last time when I checked. If you unlike, then like, you should update. Oh, really? Okay. Does it work like that? Oh, yeah, it does. Cool. Thanks, Joe, for the tip. Yeah. Um, but about the banks, uh, like, there's no huge differences between the banks. Like, I would say that there's not one there's not a bank that's clearly better than the others or one bank that's clearly the shittiest so that's a good thing like when you come here just get a bank that offers service in english that's what i would say because you can always change the bank 
you can open a new uh, customership in other bank and so on. As bank only finish in Swedish, yeah. Uh, but as bank has offers like a few cool bonuses like the as etu and if you pay with their bank card you get this cashback stuff so in that sense it's good but i wish they i think i mean to send some feedback hey as bank get your stuff in order in english as well we have customers coming for you <laughs> cool but as bank is completely free if you become the owner customer as far as i know I'm from Uvascula and got my master's degree. Yeah. So there's other people from Uvascula also checking in. Okay. We've already been streaming two hours. Well, time flies. Time really flies, to be honest. Like, oh, and when you're sitting down, it's got to. Oh, oh, oh. Takes a toll. Guys, we need three more thumbs ups. Can we? Who, who, who will be the last three? Yeah, and and the online banking works super well. I mean, that's one of the good things that you don't really have to visit the bank or call the bank. You can just do pay your bills or do the investments or pretty much all you need to do from online. And I I use the mobile app all the time, so it's really nice. I love you, Vescula. I lived in Tampere. Yeah, Tampere is also a very nice city. I lived there for six years during my crazy student student times. Definitely can recommend Tampere. Tampere as well. Okay. Uh, let's take one more question. How do you feel in your new place? All good? Yeah. We've been... Uh, next week, it's going to be one month already wow time flies so fast like oh my goodness but we've we've settled in quite well noah likes it here there's a dog park close by the balcony is really nice we've got all the necessary uh things we need to buy gym is very close shopping center very close so everything works really smoothly Do you miss your long walks in Helsinki? We're going to do the walking live streams, but I'm just trying out this concept like a few times. And I think it would be great to have like one walking live stream and one this like a studio live stream, or maybe like every like one, like every other week, studio and then or fantastic live and then other every other like walking live stream. Live stream. It seems we reached 100 thumbs up. Is this really the case? Yes, it is. My own thumbs up. <laughs> Because I unliked and unliked liked it again. Great. But I think we're going to wrap up this live stream here. Thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure to do that. Link in the description. If you want to get merch, check out the merchandise products, worldwide shipping. Links to those also in the description. Uh, if you want to check out my Finnish courses, links to those also in the description. There's all these kind of cool shenanigans in the description happening. So make sure to check out the stuff there. I really appreciate that you joined this live stream and I will wish you a great week starting tomorrow and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.